So this is um, an 8.2 practice notes video. Before I put you guys on your own, I did want to do some uh, more difficult problems um, and talk about some things uh, before I have you guys do the practice. Uh, so a quick review. Uh, we said if we have an inscribed angle, so an inscribed angle, we know that we take the intercepted arc and we divide it by 2 to find the inscribed angle measured. And if we're looking for the intercepted arc measure, we know we do 2 times the inscribed angle. So those are things we've already learned, okay? But now here's the next one. It, it basically says two inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. Meaning, if I look at that, this inscribed angle, it intercepts this arc. Then if I look at this inscribed angle, it intercepts this arc, right? Well, what that tells me is if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, I know angle B must be congruent to angle D. And if you think about it, if this was, you know, 100 degrees, this angle would be half of that, which is 50. This angle would be half of that, which is 50, which shows the angles are congruent. Next. Anytime an inscribed angle intercepts a semicircle, meaning if I look, the endpoints of this inscribed angle are on the diameter, which cuts a circle in half, meaning angle B is equal to 180 divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. Then finally, we, we talked about if I look at this, opposite angles of an inscribed polygon, are always going to be supplementary, which means angle A and angle C add up to 180, and angle B and angle D add up to 180. So right away, if I go to some examples here, right away, if I look at angle 1, if I follow this down, I notice angle 1 eats this arc, which is a semicircle, meaning it's 180 degrees, which tells me angle 1 is half of that, so angle 1 is 180 divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. The next one, angle 2, intercepts this arc here, right? But I don't know the measure of that arc, and I can't really find it with the given information. But if I look at this inscribed angle, it intercepts the same arc. So if I do 38 times 2, it tells me this arc is 76 degrees. Since the, um, our, our, the angles intercept the same arcs, right, I know this is also going to be 38 degrees. Example 3, angle ADC is 40 degrees, angle DCB is 55 degrees. Find angle DAB and angle ABC. So angle DAB, if I look, is this angle here. A and C are opposite angles, so I know DAB is just going to be 180 minus 150 or minus 55, which is 125 degrees. Angle ABC, right? These angles are opposite angles, so I know ABC is 180 minus 40, which is 140 degrees. All right, so these three problems use what we call the corollaries, right, that we talked about on the first page. So example four, you have to find X and Y. It says in the diagram at the right, KJ is tangent to the circle at J. Find the values of X and Y. First off, if I look at angle X, angle X is this inscribed angle and intercepts this arc here. Right now, I don't know the measure of that arc, but if I look, this inscribed angle intercepts that same arc. So I know I'm going to take 35, multiply it by 2 to get 70, and now X, right, is that angle in that inscribed angle, because the vertex is on the circle, would be 70 divided by 2, which is 35 degrees. But to find Y, 
what you have to understand is in order to find y I need the measure of this arc here because y eats that arc well if this arc here is 70 what do these two arcs have to add up to 180 180 minus 70 is 110 and now y is just 110 divided by 2 which is 55 degrees Example 5, angle A, right, intercepts this arc, which is a semicircle, so right away we know A is just going to be 180 divided by 2, or 90 degrees. But how do we find B? Well, in order to find B, right, B is this arc here. And if I look, this inscribed angle intercepts it, right? But I don't know the measure of that angle. But what I do know is this angle is 32. It intercepts this arc. So if I do 32 times 4, that's 64. Sorry, times 2 is 64 degrees. Now, what do, what do these two angles have to add up to? 180. So B is just 180 minus 64 which is 116 degrees. Okay. In example 6, that's 126, this is 126. These add up to 180, so that's 54. That makes that 54. Right away I know this arc is 54. 126, 54, 126. They want us to find the measure of angle BRT and TRS. If I look at BRT, that intercepts this 54 degree arc. Since the vertex is on the circle, angle BRT is equal to 54 divided by 2, which is 27 degrees. Now angle TRS, okay, if I look at TRS, that's this angle here. And if I trace that down, it intercepts this 126 degree arc, right? And to find an inscribed angle, I divide the arc by 2, so that is 63 degrees. So, guys, when you're doing this, you have to make sure you're marking the diagrams. Having a couple of different color pencils, right, could ultimately help. I know I went through this kind of quick, but you can always pause it, rewind it, and go back. Um, so, Please try your best on the extra practice and get your answers uploaded on exam login.